All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I will show you is how to make a cut within a selection of your song or within a song. So all you need to do is come up here to the timeline and left click anywhere on the timeline and drag. And when you drag, there should be a gray box that kind of follows you. You've, I'm sure you've selected something on a computer and it's pretty simple. So you just left click and, and drag to the right and then let go. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, all of the director features will activate. So I'll just find cut here and click on that. And a red bar will appear here showing me that I have selected to cut those measures out of the first part of this song. So it's kind of ironic that the song is called Ain't No Going Back. However, if you are nervous about cutting anything within in the tracks, don't worry, nothing disappears. When you cut while using Show Ready, all it does is it just skips over it. And there it is. So it just skips over the area that you'd like to cut. And if you are nervous still, you can select this cut and go over here to the right and click undo and it will no longer be there so you can also find it in the change log and with that being said I think it's also important to note that inside of the change log you can find all of the edits that you have made for that song the type of edits which measures those edits appear and when they exit as well as the percentage or number of times those edits will occur All right, so we just learned how to do a cut, and now I'd like to show you how to add a vamp to your song. So we're going to do the same thing. We'll just go up here, left click and drag. Now you'll notice I threw a little curveball in there for you. Notice how the playhead, this green bar here, is on the timeline. If I were to left click and drag that, you'll notice that the gray box does not follow where I'm dragging. So I have to kind of move this to, to a, a different place, to the, to the front or to the back or just a couple measures before. So I'm going to come over here now without that gr green bar, left click and drag where I'd like to add my vamp. I'll come down here to this line of directors tools. I'll click on vamp. I'm going to go ahead and press the space bar or I could come up here and hit play, but I'll go ahead and click to, to have a listen. Now to stop, I just hit space bar again. But if I were to not hit anything, that would continue to play over and over and over and over again until I came up here to the playthrough button and pressed it. Now, if you are planning on using our professionally pre-recorded stage tracks, we need you as a music director to select the number of vamps that you would like to have in the final stage track. You can do so here in this box to the right of the director's tool line. So I'll just go ahead and click two. Now two means that I will have two full playthroughs of that selection on the timeline. So I'll go ahead and click over here and I'll let you have a listen. So there's one. So I just threw another curveball in, in there for you. You'll notice that it didn't change it to two and that's because I didn't press enter. So I'll come over here again, type in two or I could use these arrows here to, to do that and press enter this time. And you'll notice that then it will appear in the change log. So I'll come back up here and, and press spacebar. One. And here's the second time. And then it will play through. So we had the first time and then the second time, and then it went through. So for rehearsal purposes, while your cast is learning, you may choose not to change the parameter. You may leave it at infinity and then choose to come up here and, and click the playthrough button whenever your cast members are ready to proceed. So that's a great feature.